Question number 12. A box contains three brown balls and nine green balls. The balls are identical except for the colors. Two balls are picked at random without replacement. A. Draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. Then the second question part B. Determine the probability that the balls picked are of different colors. So let's go to the first one. Drawing a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. So the box contains uh, three brown balls and nine green balls. So the total number of balls are 12. The balls are identical as of the colors. Two balls are picked without replacement. So let us uh, represent that on the tree diagram. So tree diagram look like this. So we have this is the first pick. The first pick. We have brown, green. The probability of picking a brown ball, there are three brown balls. Then the total number of balls are 12. So the probability of picking a brown ball is 3 divided by 12. The probability of picking a green ball, green balls are 9. So the probability of picking a green ball is 9 divided by 12. That represents the first branch, which is the first pick. Now, two balls are picked, so we have to get to the second branch here. So the second branch is, um, this is brown, green, then we have brown and green. Now let's come to these. The first ball picked is brown, then the second ball picked is brown. So that means uh, if there are three brown balls and then you pick, go for the second pick, the number of uh, brown balls will reduce by one. So the second pick, there will be two brown balls left. Then the total, of course, will be affected by that one ball. Not be 12, but now it will be minus one ball, which is uh, 11. Then for the other branch, for the green, uh, the green here in this branch, because we're in this branch where you have the brown, the green will not be affected. So the green will remain to be 9. But what has changed is the total since you have picked one brown ball. So the total has been affected from 12 to 11. So that will be 11. Another important thing to note is that for each branch, the total of the, the sum of the probability should be 1. This is what I mean. If you take the like this branch that you have here, if you add 2 divided by 11 plus 9 over 11, you realize you get 1. Total or the sum of the probabilities in each branch should give you one let's go to the second branch here we have green so the first pick is green the second one is brown so the brown will not be affected in this branch where you have green so the browns will remain to be three divided by 11 but since you're in the second pick the total is affected from 12 to 11 then uh, look at these eh? The first pick was green, then the second pick is green, green, green. So this means that uh, you had nine green, then when you go to the second pick, you pick another green, the green will reduce from nine to eight. Then the total again will be 11. So you can also write these, uh, the first pick, the first is brown, the second is brown. This is a branch, the first is brown, the second is green. This one, the first can be green, the second brown then the first can be green green so that is the complete tree diagram uh, this question determine the probability that the balls picked are of different colors that is part b the question probability that the balls picked the balls are of different colors so what do you mean by that? Different colors means brown, green. So we need to go to the tree diagram and identify these uh, places where you have balls of different colors. So brown, that is the first one, brown, green, different colors. Then or this one, green or brown. So these will be represented by probability of either brown or green, brown, green or green, brown. So how do we now work out these the probability of picking brown and a green this one brown is uh, 3 over 12 so this will be 3 over 12 then green 
you are following this branch 3 over 12 multiply by 9 over 11 that is green or in probability we treat this one as addition or is addition then and multiplication like in this uh, bg this is a probability of picking brown and green so that is why we're multiplying but if you have this or we have to add so probability of green and brown we go to that branch green or brown we have green which is 9 over 12 multiply by brown brown is 3 over 11 so that is what represents the balls of different colors multiply these this will be 27 divided by 132 plus these will be 27 over 132 when you add these um, you get 54 divided by 132 and when you simplify these and you simplify these you get um, 9 divided by 22 when you simplify you get 9 divided by 22 and that is how we're supposed to solve that question mm -hmm.